In this video, we are going to see how to run the logic gates in a ladder diagram using Siemens logo software. Welcome to Controls and Systems YouTube channel. And gate, double click the logo V8 icon and open the Siemens logo PC software. After the software opens, go to the file menu, click the new option and select the ladder diagram mode. To add the input block, drag and drop the make contact from constants and consider it a no contact. Double click the I1 contact and go to the comment, then give the name as input A, and click OK. Again, to add one more, make contact from constants and consider it also a no contact. Double click the I2 contact and go to the comment, then give the name as input B, and click OK. To add the output block, drag and drop the relay coil from constants, then right click the relay coil. Go to the comment, give the name as output, and click OK. Scroll down and go to the miscellaneous folder, select the message text, and drag and drop that block into the page. Message text, double click the message text block, and a dialog box will open. Enter any name in the block name box. Next, select the priority value and enable the acknowledge message in the message text setting. Go to the message text and enter the input and output names on the green text screen. Then enter the names, like, input A, input B, and output Q1. Input A, click the on, off option, and the IO status name dialog box will open. Select the digital inputs from the select an input or output box. Select the digital input name and select it from the select an IO box. The input name for status false is 0 and low, and the input name for status true is 1 and high. Click OK, input B, click the on, off option, select the digital inputs and select I2 from the select an IO box. The input name for status false is 0 and low, and the input name for status true is 1 and high. Click OK, output, click the on, off option. Select the digital outputs and select Q1 from the select an I.O. box. The input name for status false is 0 and low, and the input name for status true is 1 and high. Click OK. Enable the logo display option in the message destination box. Click OK. Simulation, to connect the input A contact power source from the left side of the rail, and it's considered a power supply. Connect the input A contact to the input B contact, then link the input B contact to the Q1 output coil and also display block. Go to Tool menu, select the simulation option, or press the F3 button to open the simulation mode. Next, implement the ungate logic functions using the on-off, using I1 and I2 switches. Or gate, to add the message text block from the miscellaneous folder. To add the input block, drag and drop the make contact from constants and consider it a no contact, press Ctrl plus C to copy the input block, and press Ctrl plus V to paste another input block. Double click the second input contact, go to the parameter, change I1 into I2, and click OK. Double click the I1 contact and go to the comment, then give the name as input A, and click OK. Double click the I2 contact and go to the comment, then give the name as input B, and click OK. Double click the I2 contact and go to the simulation. Select the mode and switch type, then click OK. Repeat the same procedure for the I1 contact. To add the output block, drag and drop the relay coil from constants, then double click the relay coil. Go to the comment, give the name as output Q and click OK. Connection, to connect the I1 contact input to a power source from the left side of the rail, and it's considered a power supply. Connect the I1 contact output to the input of the relay coil contact. To connect the I2 contact input to the power source and output to the relay coil contact, also, connect the message text block input to the relay coil. Message text, 
Double click the message text block, and a dialog box will open. Enter any name in the block name box. Next, select the priority value and enable the acknowledge message in the message text setting. Go to the message text and enter the input and output names on the green text screen. Then enter the names, like, input A, input B, and output Q. Input A, click the on, off option, and the IO status name dialog box will open. Select the digital inputs from the select an input or output box. Select the digital input name and select I1 from the select an IO box. The input name for status false is 0 and low, and the input name for status true is 1 and high. Click OK, input B, again click the on, off option, select the digital inputs and select I2 from the select an IO box. The input name for status false is 0 and low, and the input name for status true is 1 and high. Click OK, output, click the on, off option. Select the digital outputs and select Q1 from the select an I.O. box. The input name for status false is 0 and low, and the input name for status true is 1 and high. Click OK. Enable the logo display option in the message destination box. Click OK. Simulation. Select the sim icon or press the F3 button to run the simulation mode. Now that the message text display box is opened, it will indicate the output condition of the logic function. Next, implement the OR gate logic functions using the ON OFF, using I1 and I2 switches. First step, the inputs, A, and, B, are in an OFF, so the output Q will be OFF. Second step, the input, A, is OFF and the input, B, is ON now the output Q will be ON. Third step, the input, a, is on and the input, B, is off now the output Q will be on. Fourth step, both inputs, A, and, B, are on now the output Q will be on. Well I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching.